What is the number one mistake when people go um, and start their business, specifically independent freight dispatchers? So I have the four-step IFD framework that I'm you know, about to share with you. I have a slide. And basically, we'll be talking about today how you can start your independent freight dispatching business. The number one thing, coming back to this you know, four-step IFD framework, the mistake that a lot of people make when they're declaring their businesses um, to their states. And, and again, let me, you know, have, um, let me open this, the chat box. So if you can, you know, if you have any questions, please let me know. And by the way, we will have the Q&A at the end of this live, whatever you have questions. And I think the, the, the most, the people will be benefiting the most from this live Q&A, the people who are, you know, starting their businesses. Um, so they have uh, Honey James. Um, so he's waving or she's waving. Uh, so we don't know the behind this message, right? So the person behind this, so basically, um, so we have the name, but uh, we wave back to you. So this will be an absolutely um, amazing live training. But again, in order to make it even more amazing, um, we need engagement. Engagement meaning you guys, you know, ask questions and I'll do my help you know, and I'll do my best to help you get there. Coming back to this, you know, the people who will be benefiting from this, um, Larry, I do see we were, you know, waving back to you. Um, whatever the questions you guys have, please let me know. And again, coming back to this, the, 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 the most, the people who will be benefiting the most from this live, those people who are starting their businesses. Number one mistake, and when we mistake that people make when they're starting their independent freight dispatching businesses? Well, I would say, um, um, you know, the, the 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 question is like any businesses, but specifically since we're talking about the trucking industry and more specifically, we're talking about the independent freight dispatching business. Number one mistake when people starting their businesses and what they're declaring to states. And we have a lot of students and we do see that they're making mistakes Hey, think about you are an agency, you're helping trucking companies to run their businesses. And when you declare your state that you are a trucking business, then that is a mistake, right? So some people will say that, well, listen, it's not a big deal. Um, it, it still is trucking. But think about inside your agency, you can offer many other services and in, in you don't have to just you know tie it up to just one thing, which is trucking. Right. So I do, you know, go over this in the I think we had a, a video we did um about a couple months ago. We went like in depth talking about, hey, don't make this mistake. So, and again, for those people who really like, hey, come on, I want to start this independent freight dispatching business, and I watch a lot of videos. Maybe you're planning to join courses, masterminds, whatnot. Maybe you you know trying to do by yourself, you'll get a lot of benefit from this. And I have the the framework that I teach, um, Louis says hello hello back to you, Louis. Um, you know I have the framework. It's a four step IFD framework, which IFD stands for Independent Freight Dispatching. In the framework, and what is that? And we've been working for I don't know for a couple of years now, and we kind of perfected it. And this is what we teach inside the coaching program. And and if we have students, they will confirm that hey yes. Kamal teaches basically using this framework. I'll give you an example. Think about if you are starting a business and you, the first thing is like online presence is everything. I think it's 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 like kind of easy to come up with a domain name and then hey, let me start start designing maybe themes, maybe watching YouTube videos, WordPress, whatnot, and then hey, there's there's there is a website, but what about now, right? Then you start watching youtube videos specifically our videos and then you you know you will realize that hey you design a website and you're targeting the wrong audience i'll give you an example when i say wrong audience maybe you are specialized in flatbed market or you specialize in drive-in market but then you somehow you did something and then people in box truck reaching out to you saying hey um, can you dispatch for me? Can we hire you? And, and now you're puzzled, like, why it's happening, right? So we will be talking about that in order to avoid those things. So we have a list of, like, basically step-by-step, -step, 
So the, the number one is this. Each step will, you know, have their own steps. For example, step number one is, you know, X, Y, and Z. And then you need to do this. Number one, number two, number three. And you're not moving forward. I'll give you an example. We have these coaching calls. When people join the coaching program, and what will happen is that they will watch a couple of videos. They will get pretty excited. And every Monday and Thursday, we have this coaching calls, and then they will join and then they will get excited even more that, you know, people ahead of them, they're already making money. They're already, you know, serving clients, carriers. And they will be asking questions like, what about this in marketing? What about Facebook ads? What if I do this? You know, like, and I know for sure that this student joined about two, three days ago. And I was like, okay, we have this, you know, four-step IFD framework. So now to me, it's like you're way ahead. So this student joined about, I don't know, six months ago or two months ago, but you joined about two days ago. So why don't you just watch the YouTube video? I mean, the, 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 the pre-recorded videos that we have, just go there, like work on your worksheets and, on, and, and your quizzes, whatnot, and then come back and check the first step. And what is that first step, right? So there's the first step, then the second step, and the fourth step. And once you complete that, now you have the up and running independent freight dispatching business. To me, guys, and again, by the way, for those of you, and, 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 and we get a lot of emails, people saying, hey, Kamal, you know, just introduce yourself and then I'll do, guys, whatever you guys say as far as um, what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that people join. And in my mind, I'm serving current subscribers. Right. And, and I think that is a mistake is just, you know, talking to people that, you know, who already know me, already what we're doing. But there are a lot, a lot of people out there, excuse me, that they don't know. They don't know what we're doing here. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kamal. And what we do here in this channel, we talk about trucking industry. More specifically, we talk about uh, independent freight dispatching. But I don't want to confuse people saying just we, we teach independent freight dispatching. This is the only thing we do. No, absolutely not. So I owned a trucking company and, you know, and I failed my trucking company. I think you should learn something, you know, from me and so that you can avoid those things and you'll be successful in your trucking industry. Then I switched to the trucking industry without buying any trucks and serving other people, um, meaning the carriers by dispatching. And obviously from that, people started learning from me and then we started teaching in the office here in Atlanta, Georgia, then what, what happened is, you know, this COVID, we know, you know, we all know this COVID thing. And then now we can't teach inside the, you know, our office. So what, what, what happened is that then we went online and said, okay, let's start teaching people online. And, and it's grew. And to be honest with you, now we taught more than 22,000 students. Now it's in bigger. I don't know the exact number, but it's, it's like more than 20K. Um, you know, students. A lot of students, obviously, they're, you know, paid students and free students that people gone over the, um, you know, any content that we have. So basically, we taught them um, how to become an independent freight dispatcher. And we still teach um, inside this, you know, channel. You will learn a lot of amazing stuff. So I do see people, you know, you, you guys have, can you hire me? Um, well, why not? We, we can hire, obviously. We always um, looking for, um, team members. So we'll go back to you know these questions. Let me share my screen real quick, and then we will you know have the conversation. And please, before I go there, treat this four-step IFD framework is the roadmap. Like guys, if if we have students here, and, and I'm pretty sure most of our students, um, I think Lakisha, she is one of our students. There you go. I think Lakisha, you are here. You you can confirm. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Akisha, yep, you are. And just let me know that you are a student and, and just confirm that we teach based on this. So, hey, you need to do that. Then you move that to the next level. Um, then you can do this. Let me let me just take, there you go, Akisha. Yeah, I know, right? So you are one of our students. And this IFD, you know, four-step framework will help you. And again, our students who are watching this right now is kind of, extra benefit for them if they have um questions they will obviously ask and then they will get benefit um, from this as well so let me go back and then let me share with you um let me just take it from here let me let me make it even like this so that we can avoid um let me see like yes we do which is why i joined awesome awesome so 
Let's go. The number one thing, remember, and I will just you know put myself some you know up here so that we can you know communicate. It will be interactive. A lot of people will you know start designing their website. Remember, we talked about this, and then they will realize that oh wow, now there is you know drive-in market, the refair market, and flatbed, then car hauling market. Now they need to redesign. Just think about just one thing that you didn't do right. Now everything is just like displaced, right? Now you need to kind of, oh my God, I need to start from the beginning. This is what, you know, what I need to do. I mess it up. So the obviously step number one, when you're starting your independent freight dispatching business, and this is what you need to do. Number one thing, even before thinking about starting your LLC, creating your LLC, don't think anything. The number one thing is choose your niche or niche. It depends, you know, how you pronounce this. You need to pick a niche. This is so important, right? In, in you can talk, you can watch any marketing videos, you can read any marketing books, and you will realize that hey, it, everything starts with a niche. Think about what I'm trying to say with this. You want to sor- serve the transportation industry. Transportation industry. It's about think about. It's it's eight hundred billion dollar industry. Give it or take. I think like eight hundred. It, it's like it's mind blowing, right? That is the transportation industry, right? So we're now taking the trucking industry. It's just like inside this transportation industry. But when you take that transport, I mean the, tr- the trucking industry. Now you're kind of becoming a very niche, right? So your niche is trucking, right? So within this trucking, you obviously have different niches. And now you're going even more specific saying, hey, I want to start, I don't know, in in the flatbed market. And I will just, you know, buy flatbed trailers. Now you're becoming even more, you're kind of narrowing down your niche, right? So what what happens when you kind of narrowing down, think about like from this, flatbed market or the step tech market and now compared to transportation industry which one is like make more like make more sense to you now now you you are in the think about if somebody asks you like what do you do like i'm, I'm in the transportation industry uh, it doesn't make any sense you are in the transportation industry but like what do you do right the, the, the air there's the sea the, like there are a lot of hundreds of you know thousands of different channels within this transportation industry what are you talking about well i'm i'm in the trucking industry okay now it makes sense you are in the trucking industry so do you own trucks yes i do okay like what do you haul now oh okay so now i need to be more specific right so like is it the drive in if people know what you're saying, then obviously they'll say, oh, "Okay, I know what you're, you know, what you mean by saying drive-in." But then think about their car haulers out there, people moving cars, people moving boats, people moving, I don't know, heavy-duty equipments. Like you need to become more specific, like like specific, very specific. And think about their people in the trucking industry, but they're in the box truck. They own box truck. See that? It's like. It gets really complicated. Then this is why when you're starting your business, specifically independent freight dispatching business, you need to pick a niche. Hey, I did that. First thing I sat down and I said, well, I made a mistake. And this is why I said we perfected it. And this is the perfect you know, form. This is like finalized. And this is what we are doing. It's we using as a roadmap. So pick a niche. We picked a niche. What is it? It's a flatbed market. That's it. We're not doing drive-in market. We're not doing car hauling market. For example, I'm giving you an example because first niche I picked, it was a car hauling. I started with the car hauling. I bought the truck. I bought the trailer. And then, I don't know, within a year and a half, then, okay, there's a lot of problems with car hauling. We need to buy more equipment, but it's expensive. I'm not going to do that. Now we switch to flatbed market. Why? The flatbed or the step deck is the, the trailers are you know, less expensive. When I was starting my car hauling business back in 2015, 2016, the Catrell, the trailer, seven car trailer, it was about like $80,000. $80,000 is brand new, but then you can buy it, you know, used, but doesn't make any sense because kind of expensive one is close to the new one price. So I thought, well, why not buy a you know, brand new one? So we bought 80000 
when I was buying the trailer for the car hauling market, then flatbed, but you know, back then, 2015, 2016, you can go back and you can research and you can see the trailer was about like 35K. Think about 80,000, 35,000. To me, it logically made sense. It's like, well, I'm not going to you know, make more money with just seven hauling, like seven cars. But what if I buy nine cars? What if I buy 10, 11 or something like that? Or if you want to buy, if you want to haul 10 cars, now you're looking for 300,000. It's like, okay. So think about why don't I just, the, the trailer it cost is about 35. That means I can keep like, Increasing number of truck, I think the scaling this business will be easy. That was the mentality when I was started, you know, business. So picking a niche, you just see that picking niche is very, very important. Let's pretend and let's say that you pick the niche since I'm in specialized, I'm specialized in the flatbed market. Just like let's say the, the, the flatbed market. So now you picked it, you know, flatbed market. And I do see guys, you have you know questions, you just you know keep them coming. Um, so what's, what's, what's next? Now you think about your business name and again, see that like, you're not just jumping around and thinking really hard. No, simple. Pick an ish, um, for independent freight dispatchers. I want to serve flatbed market. That's it. Right. So I want to serve flatbed market. What, what, will, what will happen next is that now you're thinking about your business name. I was thinking prime. I don't know, logistics. Then I searched it. I see, I did a little bit of a research. Now I see that like in Georgia, people, you know, already registered this, you know, Prime um, Logistics LLC already. So then Prime Logistics Inc. is not available. Then, okay, now I need to think something different, right? So start working on your, you know, business name. Keywords are important. As you can see, you know, the registering your business is number one. And obviously, choose business name is the second. Now, think about you're not going to create anything. You're not moving forward. You're not designing your office. You're not designing your contract because, like, think about that you have a lot of things up here, right? So now, think about keywords when you're using your business name. Think about Dispatch Trucks, the company name we have. That a lot of students of mine, because they're using exact same um, four-step you know, independent freight dispatching um, framework, they know that keywords are really important. What they're doing now is like including the keywords that we teach inside the training. But I'll give you an example, like, hey, if you are in the dispatching, you can just have those dispatching or dispatch or dispatching services inside the business name. You can always say, I don't want to just have a long name. But I can just have you know this name, whatever the name is, and then obviously you can do the DBA. DBA means doing business as. You can have your first and last name as a business name, for example, and then you can create a DBA. Just say, hey, I'm doing business as dispatch finance or dispatch fast or something like that, right? Along those lines. So picking the keywords, really, really important. Now, you pick the niche. Now you start building it. It's kind of pre-planning. Now you're moving into the um, applying for a EIN. So applying for a EIN, obviously, it's kind of you know happening you know at the same time. Meaning your LLC, you're deciding LLC or the Inc. For those of you who don't know, and by the way, this is a quick disclaimer. I always say this, and I have to say this, and it's like it's required, right? Like I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a CPA. You always seek professional help. This is for educational purpose only. Right? That's it. So you're learning it, but do your, do your diligence and then ask or seek professional help for you know, with this. So these LLCs and the um, EIN number, you know, depending on states. And and again, I'm not going into details, but you can create an you know EIN, then LLC, then you can have to create an LLC, then you can you know have the EIN, you know, apply for EIN. But again, this kind of goes at the same time. So. LLC and Inc. will dictate how much taxes you'll be paying. So this is basically um, LLC is protecting you and, and, and their EIN number attaches to your LLC. This is how IRS will get the money from you. That's that's what it is. It's just like you, you need to deal with it. It's very important. Um, and obviously, once you have that, now you start thinking about drafting a contract. Well, for the coaching students, we do have a templated 
the um the we dra- drafted a contract with we paid thousands of dollars and, and by the way we did a live with w- w- with the lawyer i think that video is available and, and there's a link you can check you know check them out but what i'm trying to say is that we hired our own lawyers so that we can draft a contract and then we obviously template it and give their stu- you know our students so that they don't they don't spend thousands of dollars going and paying for attorneys so that they can create um the draft or drafting the contract from the scratch it's already there what are you doing is just like hey i have this contract please go over i need to add this policy i need to remove this term or something like that it can you can work around right it's like it's already done for you but if you need more specific obviously you can do that so drafting a contract what why is that and again the extra layer of you know protection for your business llc already protecting you but it then you have this you know contract so you need to you know draft the contract now once you have that now start thinking about draft i mean the uh, designing your office very important some people will just you know i don't know they, they really hop on this i don't know working x y and z not even thinking about designing the office well if i have this laptop i can do well you need to have a space. It could be at a home. It could be an office. You need to design. You need to have a laptop. Yes, you need to have an internet, you know, lighting, you know, microphone, whatnot. Just, you know, think about that, like a printer if you need, right? So designing your office is very, very important, right? So in, 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 inside, of course, we do, we do teach that, but just keep that in mind that designing office is very important. So we'll talk more about designing office, but I will give you a clue. Maybe you're thinking, why it's so important designing an office think about what you will be working as an independent freight dispatcher less noise it helps think about it. i have five kids and think about like well I'm, I'm working and then there are kids you know running around and then jumping and screaming and i'm over the phone talking to my clients and trying to serve my clients it's you know maybe it will be okay with one or two clients but it's not professional and it's it's not scalable business right think about that way see just one thing now you're thinking totally different oh wow yeah i need to think about that well designing office is very important maybe in advance that i don't know we have these um in atlanta georgia um the the the, the city where i'm you know living and then obviously the, the neighborhood there are some office spaces out there starting from $500 up to, I don't know, $5,000. So basically, maybe you need to negotiate the terms. I don't know, like the location. If you you know wanted to have an office space, for example. But highly recommend, highly, highly recommend start working from your home. And this is why um, you know I have this... Uh, designing your office but inside the training you know my students they know like this is hey start from home and this is what you can do right so let's go to step number two and think about when when you complete step number two only then only then you're moving to step number two you're not you're not okay so now you're excited by watching you know this video another video another video and then you're coming back here and it's like okay now i, I want to register my domain name how many times and by the way i'm guilty i have hundreds of you know domain names out there i registered because of the idea i don't know i'm guilty yes i just you know fallen into that trap but don't don't do that right so it, you start with the domain name but then your business name is not matching then you switch a couple of things now we're like oh my god what well, i did that i do have those students that you know, made those mistakes. Don't make those mistakes. Use this and avoid, you know, these mistakes. So now the second step is register your domain name. Now what happens is that, okay, now I'm registering my dispatch trucks. I typed, available, bought it. That's it, gone. It's mine now. Then, okay, now I'm working on online presence. What I'll do is that I'll, you know, work on my Facebook page. Facebook page, very important. Why? Website, maybe I don't know, and it's expensive, but then, listen, I have this um, Facebook, huge, billions of people using it every day. Why don't I start with Facebook, right? And then I start working on a Facebook page. It's very important for advertising. I have small notes. YouTube channel, I decided that, hey, I, I must have a YouTube channel because there are a lot of people searching online, you know, how I do this, you know. I don't know the dispatch and whatnot. 
a lot of people, by the way, the carriers reaching out to us by just watching this video. And a lot of people obviously watching this video, they want to learn more about dispatching. And then they come out, do you have courses or coaching programs, masterminds that, that I can be part of? And obviously, then we can go from there. This is the marketing channel. The marketing is basically, and we talked about this many, many times, is basically saying, hey, I'm here. I'm, you know, I exist and I do this. If you're interested, let's do business, right? That's 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 the simplest way you can go. Now, think about now I start working on, uh, and, and again, as I said here, YouTube channel is for sharing and connecting and building the authority. Building the authority means, let's face it, if I start talking and, and I and I say that to you, and then I have a lot of students watching right now that we have thousands of students. Now it gives you the authority saying, hey. This guy already teaching teaching a lot of people this. Hey, he has a YouTube channel, and now you see that we have about like 40,000 people. Now, there is a Facebook group we have for it open to public. It's a private group, but it's for non-students as well. You can just go there. It's about 11,000 people. Then you will see that there's a private Facebook group is for just for coaching students. Now you see that, oh, wow, like he has something, and it's his legit, for example, right? Same thing, it applies to you as well. You need to build an authority. This is very important. Hey, you are there, but then, hey, do you have like a proven record? Do you have something that I can just click check on you? Do you have online presence? Do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have an X, Y, and Z? Do you have an Instagram, TikTok, something like that, right? Very important. And now once I have that YouTube channel, the Facebook page, I'm not talking about the Facebook group or groups yet. So now I have these two. If you're not good at, let's say, I'm not going to say not good at. It's just like, I think it's just in psychology. I had this barrier. Um, it's like not letting me go. It's like, hey, English is my third language. Like, I don't know if people will understand what I say. Uh, you know, I fa you know talk fast. And then I use a lot of filler words. And people will complain as I say, you know, I say, mm, I do X, Y, and Z. But this is just who I am. Like, I'm. I'm providing a value, just ignore those things and you just focus on the content, right? It's just like, that's that's the pure, I think, explanation. You just take whatever I say and you, like discard or just erase it and don't listen what you don't like to listen, for example. Or, hey, well, this is a good idea. I want to you know give it a try or something like that. So sales process, very important. Guys, we can take the sales process and we can, I don't know, talk for months, months, hundreds of thousands of videos on YouTube on sales process, just the sales process, sales process, is everything. If you make this correct, people just flow into your business and it will make a lot of money. If you're not making this correct, that's it. Whatever you do, $100,000 website, I don't know. 10, 15, 20 people working for you, 100 people working for you, it's not going to work. Sales process should be there. So by sales process, I mean you need to have an offer. You need to, you need to package your offer and offer to people saying, hey, I have X, Y, and Z. Here are my services. Here we go. So if you don't have this offer and if you're thinking, I want to just offer finding a load, booking a load, dispatching a load, basically dispatching. Guys, I'm repeating and I, I, I said it a million times. You're not going to survive in this business just offering these services. Finding a load using load boards. Negotiating loads with brokers. Dispatching load to a carrier. That's it. Do you think you will survive with this? There are hundreds of thousands of people out there doing exactly the same thing. And if you're charging 7 8%, you're not going to survive. You know, people out there charging 2 3% just doing that. And I saw people, and I do see people charging 1%. Just doing, just finding a load, booking a load, dispatching a load. Don't. Creating an offer. This is very important. What I mean by that, packaging your offer, as you can see here, packaging your offer. Um, so I have the front end offer and then I have the back end offer. So what I say here, this is where you make the money. This you know works for us, but this is eh, like, just watch this. Very important. Front end offer, this is what you offer. Finding a load, booking a load, dispatching a load. That's your front end offer. This is what you have in front of the carrier. On the back end, what we do, do you want to know our secret? We, you know, I already shared it, but think about the back end offer. This is where we offer marketing services to our carriers. Wow, 50 people watching this right now. Thank you.
<laughs> so a lot of people, right? So back end, this is where we offer marketing services. Now think about if we are competing and you're offering just independent freight dispatching services, meaning just finding a load, booking a load, dispatching a load, and I do that, and by the way, you offering, I don't know, 5%, 6%, 7%. 7%, and then I do exactly the same thing, and I said my front end offer is 3%. I take that carrier from you, and then I start working for about three to four months. And on the back end, I'll say, hey, I'm really good at building websites. Hey, I'm really good at social media. Hey, I'm really good at taxes. Hey, I'm really good at you know bookkeeping, X, Y, and Z. And obviously, businesses will be interested in whatever you do. And then people will buy because they're already buying it from someone else. See that? Now you're competing against these people and you're missing and you're saying, this is not working. This is not for me. It is for you, but then you just, just need the right you know, people to be right in front of you. And I will just show it to you just, hey, see that? You need to have a front end offer and a back end offer. Something like for affordable price and then on the back end you offer this for much you know it's kind of expensive it's kind of your premium package that you have you reserve for for your clients right now i do see you guys have a lot of good questions i'll come back to those questions i think we will spend you know really good amount of time here so that we can cover this this is very important now sales copy and by the way as you guys know, if you guys have been following me, you know, I'm all about trust. This is very important. Trust to me is everything. And I build the trust with my students. I built the trust uh, with my audience, with the people who are following me. And I build the trust, you know, trust with my students as well as what my team members. This is very important. I want to say something very important. If you are thinking here, why are you sharing this? If you're teaching this to your students and you're charging a lot of money for this, and then why are you sharing this with you know me or with us just for free? Guys, and again, think about coming back to this, you know, building an authority. And I'm showing that, hey, I can do this. So this is what I know. So they can trust me. Like if there's like skeptical people out there, like, why can't I do this? The second thing, if you wanted to join and be part of my team or you know, becoming a one of my students, now I'm eliminating a lot of those questions that you might have. Those are two important things that I'm, you know, doing today here with you guys. And obviously, you don't want to do anything. Don't do anything. Just take this. It's your roadmap. You're on your own. Just come back, I don't know, in about six months and say, hey, Kamal, thank you. Live today that, hey, it worked. Thank you, right? There you go. You're welcome. Now, once you have this, you package it, you're moving forward. So what is this? Sales copy. What is sales copy? Sales copy are the words on your website. You're just copying things. And I do see a lot of people, not you guys, that about 50 people watching this, not you guys, but what I'm saying, the people out there, they're just copying stuff from you know other people and then pasting on their website. No, it's all about psychology. Their ethical ways of persuasion their psychology, you know, when people reading it, this is how they, you know, convert. Convert meaning they become your customers, become your students, whatnot, right? Very important. Words on your website, sales funnels. We talked about sales funnels. We talked about click funnels, you know, tools that I shared with you. And again, I'm not going to spend um, too much here. There are a lot of videos out there you can just, you know, watch, meaning inside this, you know, channel. Now, once you have that, sales funnel, by the way, is it's, it's the... Uh, Sales pipeline, you can Google it, just read it a little bit. Now you have an idea what I'm talking about, okay? Company websites, this is by far the most important part of your business. And see that where it is? It's on the step number two, and it's at the bottom, right before the step number three, which is also very important, right? So company website that a lot of people will be emailing us saying, this is my website, and a lot of you know students, they will send us, the their websites they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars meaning like they spend too much money not hundred you know thousand dollars for a website but what i'm saying they paid a lot of money you guys know people charging it for five hundred dollars up to five thousand dollars up to twenty thirty fifty thousand dollars if you don't know what i'm talking about the website for fifty thousand dollars 
just think twice and do research and you will see that like people out there companies paying millions of dollars totally different level but i'm not going into you know details but think about independent freight dispatchers going into business and then they were kind of trying to save money and you know get kick off this you know get the ball rolling basically and think about they will just have this theme put a couple of things changing colors copying here there moving stuff around boom website absolutely not you just spend your time energy and, and the resources but think about there are five ethical persuasion ethical ways of persuasion right so it's all about persuasion it, it's it's like the thing about there there are four steps right i mean five steps think about on a website the first thing and i did a video but i'll just you know briefly touch here what do you offer what do you do when people land on your website they must know this a lot of people spend millions of dollars to test this we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to test this yes it's proven if people don't know what you're talking about what you're not if they're kind of confused, by the way, confused minds don't buy. Please take notes. Confused minds don't buy. If your visitors confuse what you're doing, they're gone forever. They're not going to buy, period. Nope. It's a big no, right? Now, what's your message? The sales copy is very important. Guys, again, we paid thousands of dollars. I can't write. I mean, I can write in you know English. But I can't write sales copies. Totally different level. If people here, they're really good at sales copy, just type and let me know. It's huge, right? Now, sales copy and then likable CEO. A lot of people missing this. I specifically touch more into details. I'm going into details with my students saying, listen, if you're the type of person you want to hide yourself, this is huge. Let's talk about, you know, about this. I think this is very, very important. I'm, I'm not thinking I'm pretty sure. Not 100%. I'm 1,000% sure you're missing a lot of money. And then you're missing a lot of money on the table or leaving the, a lot of money on the table. Think about if you like what people say about me, let's, talk, let, let's be like, let's be legit. Let's be like clear about this. Let's, let, let's get this done. If you're thinking like a lot of people will be watching this, um, you, you know, I'm studying, you know, medicine, but then I'll be doing this into trucking. Um, I don't know. I'll just put a website out there and then people will be reaching out to me and I'll be making millions of dollars. That was my mentality. Why? Because I was studying psychology at the same time, respiratory therapy at the Georgia State University. My father, he's a dentist, was a dentist. He's passed away back in 1992. From heart attack but he was a dentist and my mom she's a nurse right and then like what about me hey i, I want to become something in medicine I, I need to study medicine at least be a psychologist or something like that now i don't know i hate studying medicine i enjoyed it a little bit but then i hate it business is this is like talk about just sit down with me. Let's talk about business for days, nonstop. Just, you know, have the coffee and we're good to go. When you start talking medicine, it's interesting, but it's like I really get bored, you know, really quickly. And it's like studying this anatomy, physiology, microbiology. To me, it's like, no, no. And what happened? And this is why I dropped out of the college. Very important. And I was thinking exactly the same thing. What would my uncle say? What my wife will think about? What about my kids will think about? Like, hey, they, you drop out of college and then you're about to become a therapist or psychologist. Now you are into trucking. Guys, think about, I'm not going to mention the name, but there are two of us at the Georgia State University. One of my class, you know, close friend, maybe he's watching. I don't know, but shout out to you if you're watching. I'm not going to mention the name. Maybe one day I'll do an interview with him and then he will just say that, yes, it's exactly the same thing. This is what, what happened. We went into the you know university studying respiratory therapy, but I, you know I'm I'm kind of majoring in psych I mean majoring in psychology so that I can you know have this major and then go into medicine studying the respiratory therapy pre med something like that. Think about and this guy, one of my you know friends, and he wants to be like respiratory therapist. And by the way, he is a respiratory therapist, and now he got the master's degree in in the respiratory therapy, and then he switched it to become a uh, what is it, this physical therapy or physical therapist. Now he has this title of doctor and his name. 
right? That's his his goal was this doctor thing. For me, man, I have kids. I can't spend a lot of money in the, like years studying. By the time I get there, you, you know, my my, uh, my son will be I don't know twenty years old or twenty five years old, or something like that. Hey, I need to take care of my family, right? So what happened? So he went, graduated. I dropped out, started a business. This is truth. He was making, go ahead right now, about two years ago, respiratory therapists were making about 53K. 53K, $53,000 per year in the state of Georgia with no experience whatsoever in Northside Hospital. $53,000 per year. $3,000, $4,000, something like that per month. It was kind of enough. When I started a business and he graduated and started working for about three months, I was making way more than that having my own business. In profits, in sales, skyrocketed. That, that was huge. And we started comparing things, right? Now it's like, no, I'm not going to do a bachelor's degree. I'm going to move into like having my master's degree. See that? I want to spend a little bit of time because very important. Master's degree and he's still making less money. They're like authority on top of him and he's not getting there. Man, I want to do something different. Why? I want to become a doctor. Like MD? Medical doctor? It's like, oh no, like for a medical doctor, I don't know, five, six, you know, seven years more. I don't want to do that. Physical therapist. And then he got this his title of you know being a doctor. Now, doctor and then his name. So um what happened? Now, now I, you know, started another business, and you know, another business. And my wife started my business, and they're like, "Man, I glad I dropped it." Now, I'm not saying that you should drop out of college. I personally sharing my story, and specifically this thing, what people will say about me. You're not showing your face on your website as a likable CEO. Likable CEO, Google it and see on your website. You should have, um, let me see. You should have, guys, I do see you have questions. I'll, I'll get back to, you know, these questions real quick. So a likable CEO is when you have your image or your picture on your website because people connect with people. So a lot of people missing this. And if you know my students, and if you you know watch the YouTube videos and you see that you know my students they have the you know you know their what is it, business websites go there and you will see that they will have the likable CEO that means their you know image or or the picture of 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 themselves very important moving on to scarcity FOMO fear of missing out it's it should be like hey we have this offer round trip if you're not joining obviously the idea is like hey we offer this for I don't know, for two months and it will gone. So if you want to kind of, you know, jump in and then take advantage of this offer, call me. Basic idea. Cool. Now moving social proof. The social proof, obviously, this is where I think I need to let's do this. Um, let me see. There you go. So it's kind of distracting. Um, let me see that. Cool. So let me come back and let me come back and we'll go from there. Let's see. Social proof. Social proof is the reviews and the testimonials you will have on your website. Very important. And again, coming back to the social proof and it's like, Hey, listen, social proof. I don't like, I don't have testimonials, but remember I just talked about like round trip offering for free services, something like that. Think about it. If you can do that, you have a testimony, right? So you just have this. It, it, let me just close this. It's really, you know, on, on the chat. Let me close this as well so that we can focus on watching the video. There you go. Social proof, we talked about reviews and testimonials. Moving on. Now, third step is the load board subscriptions. When I say load board subscriptions, think about it. I want to make this clear. How many people out there, maybe you're watching, maybe you're guilty about this. Just be honest. 
you went and like, hey, there is a free 30 day free trial. Let me try. And then you see that, oh, you're not ready. Oh, there are a lot of things I can do with you. I mean, the um, load with subscriptions, but then, oh, wow, L like, I don't have my business, or I, I don't have this, or I don't have an X, Y, and Z. I don't have my, in, you know, um, onboarding process. What to do? And, and you just confuse, boom, that's it, you gave up. See that? It's on the third step. Then, only then, when you complete these, then you just go, and then, by the way, for those of you who are ready, links below this video. 30-day free trial, both for DAT Power and Trucker's Edge Pro. Take advantage of those if you're ready. Cool? Once you have done that, now everything is about marketing. Everything is about marketing, and I can keep saying this, but I know it will be annoying, but I will just stop here. Strategies. Guys, I'm just giving you the marketing strategies. You start on, you know, marketing when you have completed all this, right? All this, now you have the DAT directory. How many people out there, I remember, reach out to me, and they still do. Kamal, I saw the video. You talk about the DAT directory. You will have the access to a load board. Then, you know, you can have this partnership with not. Um, the, the, the truckers are there because they're using it. It makes sense. Man, it's awesome. I want to do that. Then you realize that, hey, it's, it's a part of the marketing, but then you don't have a website. Then you have, you know, asking questions about the website. Then you asking about, like, what should I write? What should I put on my website? It just keeps going backwards. The more you go, the more you confuse yourself. And this is why people will say, man, I, I took this, I did that, and I'm even more confused. What I did wrong. And this is exactly what happens. You just go backwards, right? Because everything, somebody needs to kind of lay down, hey, this is, what, this is how it works. One, two, three, four. One, two here. Then you start marketing. Other than that, you don't. So DAT directory, factoring companies. By the way, we did the, the um, video with Nick Garcia. The national sales, um, um, what is it? He's actually vice president for the sales for the OTR Capital, one of the leading companies, the one of the fastest growing companies in the US. There are links below this video, guys. Check it out. And then there's a video. Please watch. I did a last week on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, on Tuesday last week, we did the with Nick Garcia, right? Please watch the you know partnering with factory and companies, pay traffic. There are a lot of people out there will just put a website, then there's a name, a couple of words out there, and start running you know Facebook ads. Spend four to five, six thousand dollars, nothing happening. Man, you did a lot of things wrong. And I do see that hey, the five ethical you know persuasion, none of those there, and you spend a lot of money, and now you're complaining. Obviously, you did you know a lot of things wrong. You need to go back now. See that people going backwards, and you know they spend a lot of money. It's like it's time consuming. So I know it frustrates. Think about your options: Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads, and Google ads. We touched. We actually did everything, but the 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 Facebook ads would work for us. And guys, it will for for you as well. But again, see, you need to kind of be prepared. So, free traffic. Use social media. A lot of people making a lot of money, and we do social media as well. It's free traffic. Free traffic. And again, what is it? Joining Facebook groups, IG profiles, and YouTube channel, helping people out there, and then people reach out. To. It's not about pitching and pitching and pitching, saying, "Hey, I'm awesome. I do X, Y, and Z. Please work me, work you know with me." A lot of people do this. Right, and I and I know a lot of and I do see um, that a lot of people will do this. So come back. I hope you guys getting value out of this, and let's start taking your questions. And again, let's keep it relatable to the topic. Ask whatever the questions you guys have, and then we'll spend some time, you know, answering your questions. Now let's go, Facebook user. And again, guys, since we're doing live we're live on youtube we can kind of stream into the facebook but we don't see the names so please excuse for that right so technically you mean carrier broker is a mistake 
carrier or a broker is a mistake. I don't remember I said something that, you know, like, I don't know. Did I mean that? Like carrier and a broker is a mistake? Absolutely not. So if you can clarify your question, I'll do my best to help you. Did I say something that maybe confused you? You can say that, hey, you said this and I thought that and then I'll do my best to help you. Okay, so um, coming back, can you repeat the mistake again? I don't understand you. Okay, the 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 mistake I said the people who are going into the YouTube, I mean the uh, YouTube, to the business and they they make this mistake. If you mean that, um, by the way, you, you're welcome. Absolutely. So here's the here's the mistake that a lot of people who are going to into the business, specifically independent freight dispatching business, they declare. The wrong business model to their state. Example, you are an independent freight dispatcher and you're applying for filing your LLC and, and then like your business model, you're declaring to your state saying that you are a trucking company. Trucking company. You are a carrier. You are a broker. No, wrong. Absolutely not. That was the mistake people are making. Okay, that's what I meant. Okay, um, let me see. How much is going to cost me? Starting a business or start like joining the training or the mistake you mean? Please be specific. And I'll, again, I'll do my best to help you. Um, so awesome, awesome. Let's see. Let me take this. Just a quick question. Why the rates are going down and when when will the rates when the rates will go up? Rates, by the way, for the loads, right? Meaning um for those of you who are new, obviously, if you're pro, then you know, more power to you. But for those of you who are new, rates is basically price for the load. Let's give an example. Load going from Atlanta, Georgia to Houston, Texas. Um, it's about 800 miles or 900 miles. Let's keep it simple. Let's say 1,000 miles. And then it pays less than $2 per mile. And why is that? That is the question. Okay. So West is dead. Southeast, no good. Um, load Midwest is okay. But, you know, main thing is it's completely crazy when this end and things go normal. Things normal is very objective. When you say normal... Normal for me is totally different than normal for you is absolutely is totally different. And then the people watching this, normal is totally different. I'll give you an example. Just let's switch the you know perspectives. You know, smoking one pack of cigarettes per day for some people is normal. Then there's like three cigarettes per day or just one cigarette per day for some people is just normal. You know, that that is my normal. That's it. I'll just you know switch perspectives so that you know it makes sense to you. So I don't know the normal, but the, and again, everything boils down to one thing. You're breaking even point. Bro breaking even point. This is what your carrier breaks even, right? Breaks even when he hauling freight. And then know that number. Remember we talked about this cost per mile thing? So this is very important. It, once, once you know that, Right, your number. Now you have the negotiation power. This is very, very important, right? So I know the you know freight industry that kind of struggling because of the COVID and then a lot of you know policies out there. It will get better, but think about we talked about about two weeks ago. Things are pretty normal. Like think about the hundreds of thousands of carriers out there that are making millions of billions of dollars. There's something that you maybe don't know what you're doing, but like. Do more research about this because there are a lot of people making money already, right? So let's come back. Let me take this. Um, hi, Kamal. I'm from Canada. Hi. Starting up my business these days. Cool. How can I get a DAT? I already shared it. There's a link below this video. Links for 30-day free trial uh, below this video. In every other video that you will watch, you will see that there's a link below in, in the description. Um Below this video, I know Canada has a load link, okay, but it's not available for dispatchers. Um, they only provide access to brokers and carriers. If you do it right, we talked about, you know, in details, you can be any part of the world and you can start your business. It doesn't matter. But then and again, everything is about like processes. Everything is about like 
you know, you need to kind of have the blueprint, you know, somebody that you can show you. I did already the one blueprint I already gave you, which is the four step um, independent freight dispatching framework. It's all about knowing what you're doing, right? So if you don't know, obviously, it will just, it will hurt you. So, hey, I started my LLC in Canada. Then I want to access DAT. It's not going to work. That's, that's, that's the mistake, for example. For those of you, if you're in Canada and you started your business in your country and you want to access DAT, it's not going to work, right? So there is a process for that. Awesome. So let's go. Um, Shelly, it's very good course. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you. Um, let me see. Let's go. Um, can you send me a copy of the sheet? The, the, the thing is that, you know, I shared with you guys. That's, you know, what I mean. I paid for the course, but I don't think I see this worksheet. Yes, it's inside of, you know, training portal. But if not, you have the support email for paid students. Please email and one of my team members will email exact, you know, same copy. Let me see. Um, I don't understand this. I think it's in Spanish. I don't speak, in, you know, I don't speak uh, Spanish. Sorry, guys. Let me see. Hey, I wanted to register LLC. Anyone can help. What about your state, right? So think about you can file your LLC. You're going to buy a secretary of state, the website, and you can file your LLC. But my recommendation always to hire a small business attorney there are a lot of online tools out there or the companies out there. You can just, you know, call them and they can, for a couple hundred dollars, they can like file your LLC on your behalf. And I think that is the recommended way of doing it. But again, at the same time, you can do it yourself as well. That is an option available to you. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, let me see. So what will be the best way to register an LLC? Best way? I think I already shared it with you, right? So yeah. So hiring a lawyer. And using the tools like LegalZoom or something like or Ink File or something like that. I think provide access to brokers and care. Okay, I, th I think we already covered it. There you go. Um, can I be um, sole proprietorship? Yes, you can be that. And again, so it's based on my experience. You can do that. But again, um, seek for professional help. This is very, very important. Um, let's talk about this. I hate cold calling too. Been trying ads. I think you were texting with somebody. Uh, text marketing and email marketing whenever it's possible. Yes. Good for you. Awesome. Guys, any questions while I'm here? If you have any questions, and again, so you guys have, you know, asking these questions like, come on, in how many um, times you do, you go live. Um, so specifically for YouTube and social media streaming into social media, meaning Facebook groups that we have. And by the way, links below this video, the Facebook group, Please join. There are about 11,000 people. A lot of people sharing. See that? People right now watching. Let me show you something really important and we'll see. So let me go to Facebook. I'll show you something cool. What you're missing is this. Watch this. So you're missing something. Now, let me go and then I'll show you something. Let's, let's, let's see. Um, let me share my screen and then I'll show you something. Watch this. Right now, on Facebook group, there are people you know, watching this. See that? It's about, we have about 11,000 people in this group, as you can see. Join this. You know, link is below this video. There are a lot of people. So what I'm trying to say, when, when we stop this, right? Let me come back. When we stop, this video will live there forever. It will be there. What I'm saying is that people will be asking questions inside the Facebook group because there are a lot of people out there and the moderators, meaning our team members, there as well, helping our members, myself, right? And time to time I go there and I do specifically, you know, rewarding our members just doing the Facebook group. Think about it. if you're watching on YouTube right now and you don't see a lot of questions that we're answering and a lot of people asking and we're sharing links, whatnot. But once you post this, you can post your comments, but then a lot of people out there engaging and you missing missing those engagements. Please join. So um, that is that. And for coaching students, and again, students watching this, we always say this. You have two, I mean, two weekly coaching calls, Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays 12, Thursdays 3, Thursdays, 3 p.m., right? So then for YouTube, we do every Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time, since I'm in Georgia, 
Eastern time, and then on Friday we do 12 p.m. Time will change. In it, it depends on the you know in the life because we're working like getting more people, and we obviously trying to do our best to bring the I think premium content to you guys is how we are differentiated ourselves um, from the you know noise out out there, right? Which is we call competition. This is very important. Let me see. Let me check. I think you guys have a couple of questions. Um, let me see. There you go. First of all, thank you for your time to explain in, 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 all the process. Is it, let's see, um, to start the individual dispatch. Um, first of all, you're welcome. Is LLC must to start the individual dispatcher? It's not must, but I really, if you re like recommend it, think about, I'll give you an example. I think this will make sense. People, meaning your carriers, your future carriers, they are in business and they're legit business. They're making hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions of dollars because in trucking, they make a lot of money, but I'm not saying that they will keep the money. I mean sales. If you by any means, by any chance will be managing the company, I would highly recommend that you become a, like a legal company. Obviously, it's not must the LLC when you're just starting using this um, what is it? The, the the four step IFT framework, and you say, hey, let me have that LLC. See that I I I show I gave you the blueprint, but then it's not must. But what is must is seek professional help. But I always ask questions, and, and this will help because I was there and I know it's very important, right? So let me take this. Hi Kamal, what's dispatcher rate range charging for the carriers? Is that what you mean? I think yes. Then. It ranges, if you like, come on, what about the globally and what about the United States? Let's switch it. Let's say for global, meaning including United States and any country, meaning you have, you're running your business from any country, right? And here's the reason and here's the catch. Maybe you will say, come on, it doesn't matter. I can be any part of the world, but then I'm still serving US-based clients, but there is a catch. Not the catch, but you know the important point that I really wanted to you know clear. For the US market, 8 to 15% is in between. Sweet spot, 10%. Hundreds of thousands of people charging, charging this. There's no question about it. 10% is a sweet spot from 8% to 15%. That is the space. For those of you who think 15% is what? What are you talking about? Hold on a minute. I'm not talking about finding a load, booking a load, dispatching a load. And you're charging 15%. That's too much. Remember we talked about offer? So if you just join and, and you missed, like, what is this offer thing? Go back and watch this video, right? It will make sense. So now globally, and then I will say the sweet spot. Globally, what I see is between 3% is up to 7%, something like that. Globally. A lot of people charge the sweet spot. Sweet spot will be five percent. And again, there is a video. By the way, when I say like five percent, it's not a commission, guys. Like now, maybe some people are freaked out. What? What are you talking about? Five percent? Well, we know it's commission, but think about when you say commissions, there's a legal implications. Like not a commission, but there's different types of commissions. That's how they you know get paid from the revenue share. We did the video. For those who remember, please watch that video. I'll also include maybe a link below this video. Very, very important. Coming back, US, sweet spot, 10%. Globally, 5%. Why? Why globally 5%? Because listen, if you're running business, you know, from, I don't know, from India, from Russia, from Turkey, from Ukraine, from any part of the, you know, country, and you're charging 5%, and if you charge them three percent, it's enough money for the owner, right? Because the less expense or expenses in the United States. Think about maybe you have in your country. Think about maybe you paying two hundred dollars for the office space, and you have a huge office space. But in order to get as you know office space in the United States, it starts minimum from a thousand dollars. That's what I'm you know trying to say, right? So you guys know this, but just you know trying to make you know things simple but and again well i said this i think i uh, 
some people could kind of get angry about this. Like, why are you making this simple? Why are you making this simple? Like, we're not stupid. <laughs> I'm not saying you're stupid, but what I'm trying to say is that, listen, that a lot of people, they're fairly new to this industry. Like, my job is to break it and make it simple. Once you join the training, then would I challenge you? And then now I'll, I'll be asking a lot of questions. I'll be using really hard terms. You'll get confused. Then you'll be asking like, hey, make it simple. This is what I mean. I don't, I don't want it to be mean, but guys, I, I think the very important stuff is like it's, it's, it's inside the simplicity. The simplicity is the king. Simplicity is everything. Anything, anything I was doing when I came to this country, like everything is started with this making it simple. Learning words, making it simple, right? So very important. Um, not going to talk about myself. Obviously, I hate talking about myself. I really love to, you know, help people. So it's it's all about you, not about me. There you go. Let's go. Um, is independent freight dispatcher liable for a carrier delays, breakdowns, etc.? Absolutely not. Nope, whatsoever. Nope, absolutely not. So, what are the three best load boards to use? Um, and to continuously use one load board is enough. 99% of the time, DAT power load board. If you can't afford DAT Tracker's Edge Pro, period, period. Okay, so um, let's see. Let me have this. Thank you, Kamal, for taking my question. Can I this? Can I do dispatcher with my regular nine to five job? You can start dispatching using the, the this um, framework that I showed you. If you just joined, you missed. Please, you know, watch again. But nine to five job is you already booked. You already. Um, it, there's what I'm trying to say is that you can obviously start on a, as a side hustle, but it, it will just pick up quickly, right? So not recommended, but you can you know start building your website. I mean, start you know working on your marketing materials. I don't know, just thinking about your name, uh, business name, whatnot. It's kind of a side hustle thing, but when you start actually serving your carriers, nine to five job will 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 kill it. So this is a business opportunity. When you say nine to five, is basically you ha you are an employee, and that a lot of my students kind of going, you know, coming from that world, saying no to nine to five, and then I want to start my business. And I was there. I know it's absolutely it's a killer. So if if you're an em if I, if you are an employee working nine to five, you're pretty much booked, right? So this is a business. Treat this. This is the business. Now, you need to be 9 to 5 for your business. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay? Awesome, guys. You've been awesome. And again, for those of you who are interested working with me, there's a link below this video. There's a free guide. Download and read it if you need my, like, attention, one of my attention. And they're like, hey, hold on to your hands and then get your first carrier and start generating some revenue. Use that link below. Reach out to me. And then I'll also give you the... Uh, my email address, here is an email, info at dispatchtrucks.com, whatever the questions you guys have, please let me know. Um, for the Facebook, this is the link. Well, actually, this link is below this video, right? And again, um, so remember, we talked about the factoring company. And for those of you, we have a lot of things going on, be honest with you. And we are launching the software. It will revolutionize the tracking industry. Guys, I made a couple of announcements. But... The, the launch day is the, the um, August the 1st, something huge coming up. We are really busy with building this software for you guys. It's like my students they already kind of know. And then there will be beta test testers inside um, our coaching, you know, uh, community, which is our, you know, students. But if you wanted to become a student, please, there is a, you know, link below this video. Check it out. Give it a try. Let me help you um, start your business. And again, let's come back on Friday. And we'll go from there. Until then, stay safe. Bye for now.